Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring our fifth innovator of the morning to the stage. This gentleman is the CEO and founder of a company called Travel Appeal. His name is Mirko Lali. Mirko. Good morning. A few years ago, I was uh, in charge to manage the most important digital campaign ever made in Italy by a singular regional area. I work as a marketing director to uh, Tuscany region home DMO. And uh, for, uh, for day one, we start managing, we start collecting a lot of data, and uh, uh, we, we have uh, a big, a huge problem to understand what happens in the territories, what happens in the intersection between our action and the effects in the territory. So we face the most important problem that every DMO and every digital marketers uh, uh, for destination face every day a lot of data to manage. And it's very hard to understand, for, exa for example, the long-term shift of perception of a destination. It's very hard to correlate them together, and uh, we need to use a lot of tools. I remember that we use a very lot of tools, and it was very, very expensive. So this is the reason why I spent the last two years with working with my theme to realize just one easy tool that keep all data together in the same place and was able to get the full picture that allow destination marketers and that allow a destination manager to understand what happens in their destination after, for example, a digital campaign or something that shifts the perception. In our model, a destination is uh, like a stack of several layers. We have hospitality, restaurant, cultural resources, and museum. We have transportation system. We have a bunch of contextual data, like weather, like events, like prices, like uh, hair, fare, ticket, and so on, and also third-party application data. The only sustainable way to us to uh, realize the one tool that manages all layers of destination is to implement each of these layers and start selling as much as we can vertical application to business in every layer. So we build our, literally, we build our traction. Today, as we speak, these are our clients, and uh, um, it's not a, a change of focus of the company because the data are always the same. And today, I will to present you the destination tool that gather all data together, sum up all data together. We are working very hard to develop a simple, beautiful, glanceable interface where you can filter every data by area, by time frame, by category of tourists, and several other filters. Every information in this dashboard can be uh, you can go deeply and see segmentation and correlation between data. For example, we have uh, average room rates for uh, the territories in correlation with weather and with events. Uh, you can go, you can filter by segment of travel industry, and you can also see a lot of more information so every specific day. We have the geographical distribution of uh, review. For example, for every review channel, so you can go down to every single market and go deeply to every single venue in the destination, even a restaurant, a museum, or a, a hospitality venue. This is experimental. It's made uh, its work uh, only for Italy. By now, we analyze the credit card spending uh, data are provided by one of the most important tools, um, the most important Italian bank, uh, and we have. Uh, uh, a picture of how tourists spend their money in the territory, so you can filter also by nationality and, uh, and so on. Uh, in the final part of the dashboard, you can see the progress of uh, social media spaces and the conversation about the destination. Also, we identify in real time the most important influencer that are in the territory. You can compare every dimension that I show you and uh, easily see them together stack it, so it's very easy to understand where changes are. Uh, most uh, the most important thing, so our, our technology, is that, that, that this uh, application is not just an analytics. We don't want to give to our clients uh, 
just other data to interpreter. We want to give them, we use a, a machine learning uh, build technology, uh, built by us, a technology that uh, analyze in real time all this data and deliver real time suggestion and actionable insight resulting by the interpretation of data. So we develop a um, simple notification system and uh, uh, instead of simple data, just try to figure out uh, how much data we can digest uh, to formulate a statement like this. And you can go deeply and see why we formulate a statement like this. It's totally automatic. Every information was delivered by email, instant messaging, and we are working to a mobile, native mobile application system. Just one word about the cost. We are a SaaS model, uh, which every of our uh, layers, business in our layers, and uh, also for small destination, we reach to give them this type of product at very affordable price. Just a few words closing about our partner. We start only 15 months ago. And uh, the, my ninja theme that get things done. That's all. Thank you, Marco. Marco, into the, into the lion's den. What do you think? If you're a destination marketer, Dragons, sounds good? So, Marco, a question for you. So, um, I understand you said you want to make it actionable, um, yeah. the, insult, the insights to the DMO, but how do they actually make that happen? Because in the end, they don't control, they don't have direct influence. It comes down to the restaurants themselves improving things or the lodging making, making, taking these suggestions on board. So, how do you, how do you actually make real impact in I the area? I take the example of a restaurant, for example. If I give to a restaurant a picture of their guests, perceive their menu or uh, the entry, first plate, second plate, uh, he can understand uh, where, uh, where complaints are focused uh, and they can change it, they can work on it. Uh, also for hotel sector, uh, we, we have uh, 39 cluster of analysis uh, and uh, we have uh, the strength, the weakness, uh, and uh, also we try to correlate data together and uh, we had more value correlation in correlation. I, I guess my, my fear is that a good restaurant that cares about this is already on TripAdvisor paying attention to it and paying the premium product or on yeah. Yelp or whatever it might be or on uh, these other places. So it, it's the ones that actually don't care that you're trying to influence, right? Yeah, in TripAdvisor you have uh, every single review, so you have to read it all to yeah. have a, a full picture. We give you an aggregated view. And this is an aggregated view digested by an algorithm that gives you more information in terms of uh, uh, country, the typology of tourists. Uh, and we have also um, a custom algorithm that sum up all the variables that, that we analyze and uh, give uh, to each of our clients a, a simple score system. It's called Travel Appeal Index is uh, unified, is normalized, and uh, for example, is used by Unicredit Bank, uh, is the most important bank in Italy, uh, the third bank in Europe, uh, has a credit right. rating. So they decide how much money they give to each business, business in travel sector, also analyzing our score that is revolutionary in Italy. C can I ask you, how difficult is it to, uh, to deploy your solution if I have um, um, five restaurants and hotels or it's totally full self-provisioning. You can go online, register yourself, and start using in a bunch of minutes. But, but do you have to file the content in the system, or you scan the site respectively? We scan, we scan a destination, and uh, you, if, we have, if we already have your data in our system, it's a really matter of seconds, minutes. Uh, in the other way, we map your, uh, your venue, and uh, in about 10 minutes, it's ready to go. Okay. One thing I didn't pick up from your pitch is how, how do you get the data from the consumer, from the actual tourist? What's that, what was that experience like? You, saw, you had a, a word graph there with lake in the middle of it. Where's that coming from? Uh, I don't understand the question. So there was, there was information on keywords, right? You had, yeah. a, you had a word graph there. How are you getting that data? How, how we get data? Yeah. Yeah, we get data. We get all available data online. So we get uh, every review in uh, several review channel in... Uh, a multiple set of languages, and we uh, analyze uh, with a semantic engine. We get data from uh, social network and from website. Uh, every mention we found about every venue in the destination, not just the destination itself. Okay. Excellent. Well done, Mirko. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Mirko.